What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, Tech Magazine, Putting a Geek. Today, we're taking a look at this website. It's called Suno.ai. It's AI-generated music that you can create and create with lyrics, without lyrics, however you need for whatever you're using it for. We're going to do that next on Geekazine. What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put in a Geek. You can find me over at geekazine.com, youtube.com forward slash geekazine. All right, let's take a look at this. This is suno.ai. This is a website that is creating AI generated music, and it's doing a pretty decent job. They're on version three. Version two had some hiccups to it. Version three is a lot more stable. And, uh, and I've been playing with it for the last few days. I'm pretty impressed with some of the content that I've come up with. But before we get to that, let's, let's see what Sunode AI has to offer. Well, first of all, you can create instrumental music. You can add in lyrics. You can use ChatGPT to create lyrics for you. You don't even need to go to ChatGPT to do it. It'll just do it for you. It'll create multiple styles, country, rock, classical i've done an orchestral piece lots of more it can you can remix yours or you can remix other creators music that that have made it public and of course there's different models the freemium model is the main one and then of course you have a pro and you have a premium model let's go ahead and take a look at suno.ai so as you can see, like I said, this is what you get to uh, when you open up the page. These are all the publicly shared projects that people have done. We were listening to a song called Black Hole, which was right here. And a lot of other things, some with lyrics. Uh, I'm not going to play a lot of these. Uh, some of these are in different languages, and I don't know what the lyrics say. So we'll leave that at that. But there are, you could do instrumentals. Uh, final boss theme. Now, as you can see, it's just uh, giving instructions on this right side. So this is actually an instrumental right here. I did see, okay, here's a meditation one, 714 Hertz meditation. So it's asking for 740, 14 Hertz frequency healing and meditation. Or is that 400, 740? That says 741. So title is slightly different. Here's one called wrong password. So the, here's it has lyrics. So as you can see, we've got that. We've got string theory here. So as you can see, you have different options to create a lot of different things. And it sounds pretty decent. Now, let's go ahead and uh, get into the create area. Let's let's take a look at what we've got here. First of all, we were in the explore area. We got the create area. This is where you're going to be creating your songs. And then of course the library, which is all of the songs that you've uh, liked and actually disliked as well. And I set uh, things to dislike when there's little problems with the songs because it is AI generation. It does have some issues there, which we will talk about down the road in the pros and cons of things. We can set clips and we can set playlists. So I could put these into a playlist by simply going over here and say, add to a playlist. Let's go over to create. And we're going to see all our songs that we're doing. Uh, as you can see, I got... I did a few where I said, welcome to Geekazine. I think this one is one I liked. There was that one. There was a, this one right here. There's that one. And then this one was its parent. So you got the different options there. So let's start by making our own here. And it's basically up here. We say we don't have the custom mode on. We don't have the instrumental on. We're going to turn the instrumental on. We want an eighth note rock up tempo. That's what I'm going to do. No title, 
but when we get into custom mode, we can actually give it a title. It'll give its own title. There's going to be no lyrics in this song. So we're going to hit create. And what it's going to do is it's going to give you two options. It takes five credits at this point. Uh, so when you're on the freemium model, you get like 50 credits. Uh, and the monthly model you in the pro, you get uh, about 2,900 credits. And the premiere, you get more. I'm, I'm on the pro level right now. So what's going to happen is it's now generating the music. Once it gets into a buffer, you'll, it's music you'll be able to listen to. You'll have up to two minutes worth of music to listen to to see if this is a song you want to continue on with. And, and then you, there are ways that you can continue with them. So like, for instance, this first one, it's calling itself Rocking Rebellion. So let's go ahead and listen to the first up-tempo rock of Rockin' Rebellion. Hmm. Something's going on. It looks like we hit a glitch on here for our first songs, and that's okay. Oh, there we go. So this would be a nice little background song for uh, for what I'm doing for any type of uh, unboxings or anything like that. And this will give me about uh, 30 minutes worth of. I, I hit the button again, so we're gonna we're gonna see some different uh, styles here. This is up tempo rock. I said, uh, what did I say for? Yeah, basically the song description was I left it at. Yeah, up tempo rock. So that's pretty straightforward on this first one. We'll go to the second one here. This is eighth note rock up tempo. I've got a nice little song, a little rock song, a little distorted guitar, a little drums, a little bass, maybe some keyboards behind. We've got Yellow Obsession down here. All right, for these next two songs, I hit the create button, but I didn't do instrumental. So what it's gonna do is it's going to create lyrics for us to listen to. And I think we have a little bit. There we go. Of colors, so bright and so grand. There's a fruit that stands tall, a monarch in the land. With a shape so curved and a skin so yellow. It's the king of them all, the magnificent fellow. This is a song about a banana. That's interesting. With each delicious bite, a symphony of taste. <laughs> So we, they, they, they made a song about a banana and we've got two different options here. So let's see if this is the other one. This world of colors, so bright and so grand. There's a fruit that stands tall, a monarch in the land. With a shape so curved and a skin so yellow, it's the king of them all. The magnificent fellow. Uh, let's 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 get forward so we can hear this chorus. Or we well we won't be able to because it's still creating right now. So we've got the second verse here. There we go. And it, it'll continue on. Might do a solo here and then I'll do a chorus again and go back there. So that is crazy. So that's that's if we let chat GPT do the lyrics. Now let's go ahead and go into custom mode here. So with custom mode, we can enter our own lyrics. We can say it's an instrumental. We want to put our style of music. We'll go, um, let's do country. And we'll just give it some ideas, bass, drums, um, steel guitar, and key, and piano. And then we're gonna put some lyrics in. Let's see if I've got some lyrics here that I created. Hello, how are you? Where are you? Where have you been? I put in some lyrics here, verse, as you can see, verse up here, and then the second verse, and then chorus, and then a verse, 
and then a chorus, solo, chorus. That's my structure here. We're not gonna say instrumental. Uh, we can say generate lyrics, so we can hit this button and we can see the lyrics that come through. But we're gonna do a uh, style of music, country with bass, drums, steel guitar, and piano. And we'll call this, this is a test. <laughs> And we'll hit create, and once again, five credits come out, and we're given two songs. So we'll just wait and see how this goes, and maybe listen to another song while we wait. Looks like we've got the tests ready, so let's go ahead and choose the first one. I've been hanging out on this corner Waiting for your light to come on It's been raining and it's cold I've got my jacket on so I'm told I'm ready to come in I'm ready to win You and me If we like how this goes, then we can go to the ellipsis here and we can say continue from this song right there. It brings this in and then we can say continue from two minutes and then it creates a longer song for you. And I, I just so you know, I have tried it and sometimes it does a great job. Sometimes it completely goes off the reservation, goes somewhere else. Once again, it's in beta. So uh, so that was the first one. Let's Let's hear the second one here. And it's it's getting a little bit confused because the stru there's no structure there, like, uh, you know, uh, four lines rhyming and then an, uh, another verse with four lines and then a chorus. So out of these two songs, I liked this one better than this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to downvote this one. And we got different options here. Uh, we could download the audio or the video version and we can definitely report, you know, like a bug. Like for instance, up on these, I, my welcome to Geekazine, you might have heard that it said Geekazine, like a J instead of a G. And sometimes some songs it would be perfect. It would say welcome to Geekazine. Some would say, welcome to Jikazine. Some would say, welcome to Jikazine. But then later in the song, they'd say, welcome to Geekazine. So that's a small little bug right there. So you basically can report the bug. Of course, if it comes back and just starts swearing at you like, no, tomorrow, you can say, hey, inappropriate, inappropriate. So, and then of course we can share it publicly and uh, we can add it to our playlists and continue from the song and remix. I'm not gonna do those, but you get the idea here. Let's talk about some of the pros and cons here. First of all, this uh, this is a song straight up. It takes five credits to do and you get what you get. You can try to remix it. You can say you can bring in the lyrics and say, OK, instead of rock, I want you to do country instead of country. I want you to do uh, shuffle if you want you to do hip hop, whatever. There's been a few times where the music has been great. The lyrics have just been a little messed up and I really wanted to use that same song. But once it happens, it, it's kind of like faces. Uh, you'll probably have to go through a million retries at least just to get the same song that you got before. It is using AI to put all the structure and it's trying to follow as many rules as possible. But once again, if you have some really odd lyrics, it might not know what to do. 
The first songs I tried to do it 5 4 instead of a standard 4 4, and it tried to follow it, it didn't follow it. Uh, I came up with some pretty good ideas. There are no stems that you get from there, so you can't separate the audio from the music, you can't set there, separate the bass from the, the drums, and then change things around. That's just basically a straight up track. And then the, uh, the quality on the audio is uh, about CD quality, but nothing more than that. So if you're looking for high-end quality, this is just not going to happen right here, at least at this time. Like I said, if you like a song, you can go ahead and say continue from this song. But sometimes it doesn't continue properly. And at first it confused me a little bit about how to continue the song because then I put in more verses and then it's just used the first parts of the verse again because uh, it thought that, you know, that's what it was supposed to do. When you're done, you can download it, audio, video. You can use it, but here's the caveat. You have to be a pro or premier subscriber to use the audio for anything uh, like a YouTube video or anything like that. If you are just a regular subscriber, you get the free 50 credits. This is for fun. This is for your personal archives. That's it. But if you want to create stuff that you're going to be using for your creations, then you want to at least get on the pro platform. And that's about uh, $10 a month or $8 a month if you go yearly. The Premiere is $24 a month if you're doing yearly billing and $30 a month if you're doing uh, uh, just monthly billing. But as you can see, you get 10,000 credits, uh, which basically comes out to about 2,000 songs as opposed to 500 songs for that pro plan. Keep in mind, if I'm looking for that very special song, then I might take a few runs at the same lyrics, the same descriptions, trying to tweak it so it will work properly. And the sad thing is I can't take the lyrics out and then just use the instrumental and, and sing it myself. So you got to be creative on that. This is a great start for musicians that really want to get songs and music created, put in their own flair. They write their own lyrics, get an idea. Is this going to work well as a country song? Is this going to work well as a hip hop song? Is this going to work well as a rock song? However, they think it out and be able to deliver something possibly that could be popular in their area or with their band. But however you use Suno.ai, it's there for you to try to explore. If you go to, once again, app.suno.ai, and you can sign up, you get a free, uh, free credits. It also has a Discord channel, which means that there is a Discord bot that you can put onto your Discord channel. Another thing you gotta think about is how long they keep the song for. I've already seen some of my music disappear. I don't know if there's like a small library that I can keep or whatnot. Uh, download the songs that you like, that way you have them. You won't be able to upload them and, and continue on the song, so make sure that that song is complete before you uh, download it. Uh, and then uh, move on to the next song. Don't use Suno as your place, your cloud place, to keep all of these songs of yours, because they might just take them off. They might just take them off to keep space. And of course, as it's growing, it's going through some growing pains right now. So I've experienced some uh, wait times. We saw a little bit of a wait time in creating the first song in, uh, in this uh, video right here. So keep that in mind when you're going to create the song. Uh, if you need something right away, it's going to take a little bit of work. So uh, give it a little bit of time. But anyway, what do you do for music? Do you subscribe to websites that that have music that you can use for your YouTube channel? Do you create music through AI? Do you, What do you do for creating for different podcasts and, and YouTube channels? Let me know in the comments below over at geekazine.com, youtube.com forward slash geekazine. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, bell notification, so you know all those YouTubers get their wings, including myself. So thanks a lot for listening. Thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, you geek out and rock out on Geekazine. Or two-step out if you're country or, you know, just kind of do a waltz or anything like that. Geek out.